Hello my friends and welcome back to our channel Nerves Trading here and if you're interested about binary options trading then you are in the right place. So today guys of course we are here again in Kotex to trade binary options and the strategy that we're going to use today is the support and resistance strategy. All right? So we have here our support and resistance indicator that is installed in Meta Trader 4. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have the green areas and the blue lines, and these are the support and resistance levels. Okay, so if the area or the line is above the candles, then that is a resistance level. Okay. And if it's below the candles, then it's the support level. So the way that you can remember it, support is um, like a floor and the resistance is like a ceiling. Okay, so the ceiling or the resistance level prevents the price to go up any further. Okay, so uh, when the candle hits the resistance level, most likely the price will uh, start to go down okay so the price will be rejected and it will bounce so it will start to go down and if the candle reach the support level or the floor okay remember it prevents the price to go down any further okay so if the candle hits the support level then most likely the price will bounce and it will start to go up okay so Right here, we have an opportunity, I think, in USD uh, against Japanese Yen. So as you can see, right now, um, it is in the uh, support level. So we can see also clearly here in our indicator. So this blue line right here, okay? So we can enter here an uptrade. So the time frame that we are using is... One minute and also the expiration time is one minute. Okay, so let's go back to our indicator and we can also see that this stochastic oscillator is below the 30% level. Okay, so this strategy is really good when um, the market is ranging okay, or consolidating. So it moves a uh, bounded. It moves in an area that is bounded uh, by a resistance and support level. Okay, so ranging meaning it is moving within a certain price range. Okay. Alright, so we clearly won the trade. And as you can see guys, the price really spiked up. Okay. So let's find another good opportunity. So I keep saying this over and over again, but if you know how to draw the support and resistance levels manually, then you don't need to use this indicator. All right. Um, if you just want the process to be easier, okay, so as you can see here, the support and resistance levels are automatically updating, okay, and you just need to browse the currency pairs like this, okay, and you just need to wait for the candles to reach the levels. So that's uh, all you need to do, okay, but if you will draw the support and resistance levels manually, then it will be a lot of work, right? Especially if you are looking, uh, if you are looking for an opportunity to enter a trade with um, a lot of currencies. So right here we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven currency pairs. Okay, so that's a lot of work to draw the support and resistance manually. Okay, but as you can see right here, there's no problem at all. So. Here, I think we can enter a downtrade, okay? So, GBP against Japanese Yen. So, as you can see, there's a uh, resistance level right here, okay? Without even looking at the indicator, we can clearly see that it is in the resistance level. And we can see some uh, rejection and struggle for the price to go up. So, 
we will enter a down trade right there. Okay, so as you can see, right, this blue line right here is the resistance level. All right, and the stochastic oscillator as well. This right here is a uh, confirmation for us to enter a down trade. So the stochastic oscillator is already above the seventy percent level. Okay, meaning the price is over uh, bought. So there's a lot of arrows right here. So there's kind, uh, there is uh, some kind of a bug uh, within this indicator. But don't uh, don't worry, guys. You just switch to uh, other time frame, okay? Just like this, and go back to the one minute time frame, and uh, those arrows will be gone. So you can see, guys, the price really spiked down, and for sure we will win this trade right here. All right, so let's find another good opportunity. Okay, so here in uh, Euro against Japanese Yen. So as you can see, um, it already reached this uh, resistance level, this blue line right here. So we just need to wait uh, for the price action. I mean, we just need to watch the price action. So Euro JPY. And if we see some rejection, then we will enter a downtrade. Okay. And as you can see right here, I think the price is getting rejected. So we can enter here a downtrade. So we will just wait for this candle to finish. But wait, guys. Okay, as you can see at the last second of that um, candle, um, it looks like that there is a buying pressure. So, I don't want to enter a trade when I see something like that. And here in our indicator, as you can see, um, the price or the candle go beyond, I mean went beyond the resistance level, okay? So, we will not enter the trade right there. So, um, it's good thing that we saw uh, something like that. So it's a good example what to avoid with this strategy. All right. So we missed this one right here in Euro against uh, British Pound. Okay. So it could have been a good uh, down trade for us. So as you can see, um, the price hits this resistance level right here. If we entered here a down trade, then we will definitely win the trade. Okay, so as you can see, a lot of arrows. I will just switch to the higher time frame, then switch back to one minute, and it will all be gone. Okay. But the arrows, guys, is uh, also a good confirmation. Okay. So, for example, if the candle reached the resistance level, then you see some rejection. And also, um, if there is a red arrow, then that's a good opportunity to enter a down trade. Okay? But it's okay. So let's see uh, other opportunities. So here, USD against Japanese Yen. Did we miss already the trade right here? I think we already missed the trade, guys. Because it really went down already. Okay, we could have an end we could have entered. Okay, never mind guys. So you can see guys the price went up okay so if we entered uh the trade right there so sometimes you might feel um fomo okay so fear of missing out okay um you don't want to miss the trade but as you can see uh if you entered here a down trade 
since it already went down or uh, it it already went down a lot then you will uh, most likely you will lose this trade right here because you can see the next candle is a green candle and now it is continuing to go up okay so you will definitely lose the trade if you entered here a down trade Okay guys, so here in British Pound against Japanese Yen, we will just wait for the candle to reach this green area. So this uh, resistance area right here. The stochastic oscillator is also above the 70% level. So if we see some rejection, once the candle hits this resistance level, then we will enter a downtrade. Okay guys, GBP against USD. So, as you can see, there's a uh, green area right here. So, this is a resistance level. So, we can enter here a down trade guys. As you can see, the price gets rejected. So, if we will draw the resistance level right here, Okay, so let's change the color to, say, purple. So it's clear that there's a key level, okay? And we see some rejection. So we will just wait for this candle to close. And then we will enter here a downtrade, okay? So most likely, the price will start to go down after this one. And now, we have entered the trade, okay? So let's wait for the result. Right, guys so we have won the trade again okay so let's find another good opportunity right, guys so i think i can enter here an upgrade Okay, so as you can see, in our indicator, um, there's a support level right here, this blue line. Okay, so it is previously a resistance level. And um, right now, it is serving as a support level since the candle is already above this level right here. Okay, so this acts as a floor, right? So let's see if we can win this trade right here. Alright guys, so we have won the trade again. So let's find another good opportunity. Right, guys so i am watching the price action here in euro against british pound and it seems that it really cannot go down beyond this support level okay so as you can see the price is getting rejected 
So, uh, we will enter here an up trade, okay? So, let's see if we can enter the trade right. Uh, I mean, let's see if we can win the trade right here. And um, this might be our last trade, guys, because um, the market structure or the market condition is getting choppy right now. So, whether this is a winning trade or losing trade, still will be in profit, okay? Alright guys, so we have lost the trade and as I said earlier, um, this is gonna be our last uh, trade for today. So for those who want to um, get this uh, indicator guys, then you can message me in telegram or you can check out nervestrading.com. So this indicator right here is part of the package of my course. Okay. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you learned something from this video, then please consider liking it because it will help our channel to grow. So thank you so much guys. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified once we upload new video so for those who want to try out this broker this platform that i use when i trade binary options so this is cotex um there's a link in the description below you can use that link to register and if you use that link you can uh, avail 50 percent bonus just use the code cotex php thank you so much guys for watching see you again on the next one